Hello there, beer guy reviews. My name is Geek. I'm here from downtown Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Today we'll be looking at a beer that was given to me personally by the Albino Rhino. I went over there in the road trip and he just started gra grabbing some beers under his couch and gave me a six pack of random beers and this is one of them. One of them. From the Innocent Gun people, this is the Sparberry Melville's Craft Lager with real Fruit, never from concentrate. Oh yeah, this is going at four point one percent alcohol by volume. There we go. Not sure if you're gonna be able to read the white text on a white sticker. Anyway, best of luck. Bose glass. Let's get a nice pour. Very nice, cloudy, like orangey, reddish, cloudy. Body, lots of carbonation, uh, white head. Oh wow, just smells like natural strawberry. Almost at the same topping you would get off a uh, cheesecake when you go to a restaurant. That nice, like sweet, and they put a real strawberry cut on there. I'm already sad, already sad that I can't get this beer here. That's just the smell alone. Well, let's give it a taste. Light to medium uh, mouthfeel. Um, you're basically, basically just getting that strawberry at the forefront. Yeah, just at the forefront, the taste dissipates fairly quickly, uh, almost reaching the middle part of the tongue. Uh, really nice bitterness around the sides of the tongue. Oh, this would be a perfect uh, cocktail beer. So, Mel Melville's Craft Lagers, 6th Ra Randolph Crescent, Edinburgh, Canada. Very good. I wish the taste would be more intense. There's bar barely any sweetness, but really good. So as is, I'll go up to a 8.4 out of 10, and wow, really good, really appreciated, Albino Rhino, and cheers.